So this, this is it, Fezzy. We're ready to uh, do the rape joke. Fez claims he can make uh, anything funny. Is that right? That's right. You just give me the topic, and I can write you up a joke for it. So uh, if you want to comment on whether you th how well you think he's done, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Are you ready to do this, Fez? I am ready to do my rape joke. Well, uh, before that, I want to kind of set the table for you a little bit. So if we can uh, just stop that music. Okay. I did want to point out that 17.6% of women in the United States have survived or a completed an attempt at rape. 21% were younger than the age 12. Just horrifying numbers. 64% of the women who were being raped, physically assaulted, and or stalked since the age of 18 were victimized by a current or former husband, a partner, boyfriend, or a date. Just terrible, terrible uh, numbers when you start to read these. Mm. Ronnie, that's really not setting the mood for my rape joke. The FBI estimates that only 37% of all rapes are reported to the police. It's really um, taking the fun out of it. No, Fez, I don't see any of this stuff as uh, being fun. That's for sure. More than half of all rapes of women occur before the age of 18. 22% before the age of 12. Those are alarming numbers, particularly when you're talking about our sisters, our, our family members. Just terrible stuff, isn't it, Earl? Those are horrible, horrible statistics. Yeah. About 81% of rape victims are white, 18% are black, 1% are of another race. So really, if you're going to be a woman out there, try to be of another race. That's the smart angle on it. Yeah, this is uh, not the atmosphere, really, now that I wanted to tell well, this rape joke in. It's an atmosphere, I think, that we're all going to have to uh, live with. Uh, somewhere in America, a woman is battered, usually by her partner, every 15 seconds. <sighs> An estimated 50,000 women and children are trafficked every year in the United States. For sexual exploitation. Yeah, the sex trade. It's um, <clears throat> terrible. Yeah. It's hard to be humorous now. At least 60 million girls who are otherwise to be expected to be alive are missing from various populations, mostly in Asia. Unbelievable. Hmm. You're going to have a tough time pulling the joke off about this one, buddy. Yeah, I think so, especially now. You just set a really somber mood here, Ron. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think, see that there's anything more somber than the subject at hand. All right, Fez, you ready to do this little gag of yours? Well, <coughs> gee, now I have no idea. Some of those numbers almost want to make you throw up. Maybe uh, you doing this joke, uh, it's good because it all helps us to see how terrible this problem is and makes us all think, what can we do to help? Yeah, I don't know now. I, Gee, it's kind of like not the best <coughs> warm-up act here for this rape joke. Well, I'll give you another one if you need, Fez. Here he is coming to the stage right now. The world's uh, only attempt to make rape funny, Fez Murray Watley. Hi, thank you, everyone. Did you know in Alabama you can no longer be charged with rape? I was reading some of those figures right here, Fez. It's just uh, horrifying. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to do the joke now, though. Oh, that was part of the joke? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. All right, let's go back. Uh, just that when you brought up Alabama, I think some of the southern states were... You know, it's just horrifying what goes on in this country. Yeah, it just doesn't really seem to help. Mm. I right, go back to your uh, to your joke, mm. Fez. Okay. Did you know in Alabama you can no longer be charged with rape? Now it's just considered really bothering your sister. When I think about how many incestuous rapes take place, Fezzi, it's just really, really terrible. I'm going over some of these things right here, and uh, most of the time when something like this does happen, it's a, a family member or a friend of the family. It's not just what we always think, where it's some kind of a tree jumper. <laughs> 
Yeah, that wasn't the follow-up I was expecting. Um, they say that uh, females age 12 to 24, greatest risk. Unbelievable. Maybe I could try another one. Go ahead. Maybe that, maybe with the stats, it didn't help so much. Yeah. Try another one here. Kobe Bryant was charged with raping a hotel employee. Horrifying. His lawyers were good. They got it down to just trying to check in too early. When I think of how many people, just because their jobs go to show that, you know, somebody else feels like they're superior to them or a man will feel physically superior to a woman, it's just horrifying. Hmm, I hadn't thought of it that way. Seems a little rough. What were you saying about Kobe Bryant? Yeah, um, they uh, they uh, he was charged with raping a hotel employee. Horrifying. Yeah, and his lawyers were so good they got it down to just trying to check in too early. Ugh. Mm. It's funny how the rich can get away with anything in this country, can't they? Even rape. Let me try another one. Sure. I could use a smile. President Bush, he promised to close the rape rooms in Iraq. Unfortunately, he reopened them here. He's calling them gas stations. I'm sorry, I didn't even get that last one. Well, you get raped at the pump, because... Try it again from the beginning. Sure. President Bush promised to close the rape rooms in Iraq. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he reopened them here. Yeah. He's calling them gas stations. You know, I think if you didn't put such an emphasis on gas, it probably would have been better. Mm. Mm. He's calling them gas stations. No, the emphasis was better. You were right. That's yeah. more comedic. Huh. Maybe if we hadn't had all those stats ahead of time. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad some of the information is getting out there, Fess. Awareness first. Awareness, is, education to me, uh, you can defeat any problem. Any problem at all. You know, it's kind of interesting here. A recent National Crime Victimization Survey found that women were 16 times more likely than men to experience rape and sexual assault. Oh. That's a tough to, 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 uh, to I can't even say it, number. It is, <laughs> it is, a, it is a tough number, isn't it? It is. Statistic. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, how about this one? Yeah. What did Ann Coulter say while being raped? I don't know. What was that? A little to the right. My God. Something like this happened with Ann? Oh, no. This is just a, a what if. Mm. I right, try it again. What did Ann Coulter say while being raped? For God's sake, would somebody help me? No, she said a little to the right. Why? Because she's very right wing. Mm. All right, let's do one more. Okay, yeah. I'll try one more here. Yeah. You had a busy weekend writing rape jokes, huh? Oh, yeah. 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 Did you hear about the seven guys caught in a cave-in? No, I didn't. They were trying to gang rape Courtney Love. And she was in a cave? No, that's like just her big twat. Hmm. You know, often the victim will blame themselves or other fez. So many times the victims of sexual abuse do find themselves being caught up in uh, depression anxiety, and even substance abuse. So, it's horrifying when you uh, think about it. Yeah, when you think about it that way with all the stats. The what? Stats. The data that we're getting. Right. Here's Susan Sarandon. I'm the Sparkle Pony Fez. Hey, this is Susan Sarandon. Fez! You turn in your ACLU card pronto. I mean right now, mister. Thank you, Susan. This doesn't sound like the Susan Serena and I was speaking to Listen. Saturday. That's a, I'm a big fan of her, suppose, and that is her. I'd know that voice anywhere because uh, Rocky Horror, first time I ever saw her. Uh, 
RJ. RJ, you're on Run of Fez. Ron, you got to stop with the statistics jokes, dude. You're fucking killing me. I got tears rolling down my fucking eyes. Man. Well, anything I can do to get the word out there. And again, maybe the timing was wrong to do that before Fez's joke, but... Yeah, I don't think it set the mood or the stage or the room or anything. I thought that uh, Harry was going to be in here helping you. I, I mean, not Harry. I get these two so confused. Oh, Eastside Dave. Dave. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't that the plan? Yeah. He was going to be like a better audience for you? Mm hmm Did he ever show? No, never saw him. Hmm. Here is uh, Chris. You're on Fez. Yeah, what's up, fellas? Yeah. Got to say, the gas pump one, funny. What was that, joke three? Yeah, oh, I think it was two. Hmm. Yeah. No, you're right. It was three. Yeah, it was three. That's where I made the mistake by saying you put too much of an emphasis on gas. And then listening back to it, you were dead on right. Yeah, I, I should have gone with my initial instinct there. Yeah, you should have. Gas stations. Here's uh, Jason. You're on Fez. Hey, uh, you're in luck, man. Anything some fat faggot says with heart problems is hilarious, especially that Alabama joke. <laughs> Later. I don't know if that helps. I don't think so. I appreciate the support, as masked as it was. These jokes are yours, Fess. Mm-hmm. Are they a cry for help? No, they're a cry to make rape mainstream. Well, I mean, you what well, you're trying to do, uh, yeah... And I mean, just reading this stuff over, it really is just uh, frightening. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, you're on Fez. But hey, yeah. Hey, Fezzy, I'm loving the jokes. I think you've got a great venue. There's a little certain spot in Central Park. Maybe you can go down and uh, work your work on your stuff. You know, the, the, some of the jogging paths. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Mike, Mike, you're on Fez. Yeah, just wondering, did Fez break into Harry's joke vault? Seemed like it. It does. I didn't I mention guess, anything but... about anyone getting their pants pulled off of them. I really now finding myself looking back on the pants joke and missing it. You missed the pants joke? After the rape jokes. Maybe you're so busy with your marches and all, Fez, that... Uh, you really didn't have... I guess you were just scratching those jokes in on the subway on the way in today. No, I worked on these all weekend. Of course, well, that protest crowd, they're not exactly a sounding board you could try a rape joke off. What of. was your own favorite? My own favorite was, I believe, the Alabama joke. And that one was what? In Alabama, you can, you can no longer be charged with rape. Now it's just considered bothering your sister. That just really uh, reminded me of the amount of incestuous rape in this country. The fact that so many of these youngsters know their aggressor and don't feel comfortable even pointing them out because they'll rip apart a family. So it is terrible. Huh. You think of it that way. See, I thought it was something the red states could enjoy life at themselves. The blue states would enjoy a shot at the red states. Kids would like it because they're always told to quit bothering their sister. Here is uh, Dan. Dan, you're on Fez. It's, it's Darren Ryan, but, Ronnie, but uh, these sad stories that Fez is telling you, they're, they're breaking me up inside. I, I had no idea he was so good at conveying such a raw and, and heartening image. Uh, it's just, it, really, it really hit me in the soul. You know, uh, Fez, maybe you can take this act of yours out on the road somewhere. Maybe a one-man show. Yeah. Well, me and rape, anyway. I don't know if I'd call it that. Let's uh, call Eastside in uh, now. Well, Fezzi, you gave it a shot. I'll give you all the credit in the world for that. I thought I was going to really break the rape barrier here. I don't really think it uh, worked out. You said I saw that you were uh, looked like you were pretty upset. I guess you have your own problems with this topic, right? Yeah, I've got my own issues. I didn't mm. think uh, it was as funny. Mm. As, uh, you know, it could have been. Like, well, maybe it's just because you, you know, because of what happened to you as a youngster. Anyway, let's move on from that.